This quick guide video demonstrates how to interpret an ECOG recording. Electrocochleography has many clinical applications and the interpretation of the electrocochleogram often focuses on different components depending on the purpose of the investigation. When aiming to detect the presence of pressure in the endolymph, it is recommended to look at the relationship between the summating potential and the compound action potential. A separate quick guide video addresses the calculations which can be used to compare these, as well as the normal and abnormal values. Another criteria for diagnosing endolymphatic hydrops is the AP latency difference observed between the condensation and rarefaction clicks. A difference of 0.38 milliseconds or greater is considered abnormal. Electrocholography can also play an important role in diagnosing auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, as the cochlear microphonic is the gold standard test for outer hair cell function. The presence of a cochlear microphonic in combination with a grossly abnormal or absent ABR can be used to confirm this condition. Researchers have also begun to look at whether electrocholography can differentiate between pre- and postsynaptic origins of this condition, but currently this is not being done at a clinical level. Another application of the electrocardiography test in adults is for the enhancement of wave 1 in the ABR. The latency of the action potential recorded in the ECOG is identical to the latency of the wave 1 of the ABR. If a clear wave 1 on the ABR cannot be recorded on a patient, then ECOG can be used to obtain the wave 1 latency. This can then be used to calculate the interpeak latencies and the integrity of the neural pathway can be assessed. Lastly, ECOG can be used to estimate a person's hearing threshold. When this is the aim, the clinician will typically track the compound action potential and reduce the intensity of the stimulus until the compound action potential vanishes. This is particularly useful for those who have grossly abnormal ABR recordings. This concludes this quick guide video on the interpretation of ECOG in relation to its different clinical applications.